Mr. Rizalim. The future is not something that happens to us. The future is something that we can create. Food loss and waste uses an area the size of China to plant and harvest, and then it's thrown away or wasted. For the first time in human history, we have goals that are universal. All levels, from the smallholders to the community, to the government, the region, and globally, private sector, public sector, we all have a stake in this. Small farm which delivers greater well-being for its workers. And when I say better, I mean higher yield, lower risk, because that is very important, and fairer price. Don't wait 10 years to be vilified and become, if you will, seen as part of the problem. Seize the moment now and be an active force for being explicitly part of the solution and taking these opportunities forward. The question really is how are we going to feed 10 billion people in a way that is good for their health and again within the boundaries of the planet. And, and that's why you know we joined part of this, the League of Extraordinary Agriculturalists, uh, in order to actually push this agenda forward. And to do that, we recognise we can't go it alone and that pre-competitive collaboration is the only way forward. Uh, this is really timely. In Chinese say, Tins the Tili the right time, the right people, the right place. Uh, understand what practices are being applied in different areas, in different countries, and whether we can convert that into tangible, deliverable, uh, sustainable practices for, for smallholders. The Global Agribusiness Alliance is now formally launched. I think the bottom line for me is that sustainability pressures are in many ways driving popular demands that really fuel resource nationalism and this is really the fundamental risk that companies are facing today. It will build a critical mass of support because agriculture as we said is the biggest employer on the planet. Uh, it has the biggest opportunity to improve not just SDG 2, but all of the other SDGs um, on the list. But I really do believe, um, Sonny, that, uh, that this coalition could make just a massive difference. And certainly from my standpoint, we're keen to support you as much as we can. Because that's what is done in Unilever, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Polo. But it boils down to the essence of, are we going to change the way we're doing things to, inc to end up having a more inclusive society? Or are we going to derail the ship that we're on or the train that we're driving? And it's our choice. And we are in a fortunate position to do something about it. A moment to rise to the challenge, a moment to be proud of, and a moment to say to the world, we made a difference. You're that close, you certainly set the stake today in the ground and I wish you all the success and you certainly have all my support. Thank you very much.